I got the uh, oof. Uh, this is part two of uh, today's uh, video, and uh, sorry, I was uh, and uh, st other stuff to upload, and uh, oof. So this has to do with borders, uh, and uh, so starting Tuesday, uh, so just Justin Trudeau has announced that that uh, anyone who like showed up at the land border with the USA will have to have to take a so coronavirus uh, test uh, seventy two hours before seeking entry. So, if should can Canadians or permanent residents uh, not be able to provide the test results, they could face several penalties, including fines up to three thousand dollars per person. So, yeah, Health Canada, yeah. And it said that it's not legal to refuse entry to a Canadian who wants to come home. Uh, so uh, since uh, March, uh, uh, you know, the border has been closed, uh, but like so, like uh, no, there's been uh, no uh, land that travel uh, across the USA except trucks and trains because they were like shipping stuff, and of course, you know, that is the. Uh, mandatory yet, you know, and uh, you know. So you probably have noticed the uh, signs uh, across uh, along the highway, like uh, saying like border uh, border access restricted, and you know, so like yeah, you know, so you can only uh, go across uh, by uh, on airplanes only for essential reasons, and uh, some people. So public safety minister uh, Bill Blair uh, said. The, the testing measures so uh so the testing measures uh would that uh, not apply to truckers uh to uh ensure uh, supply chains uh, essential services and social for tr critical infrastructure so uh, So regardless of the rule change, all uh, uh, all returning Canadians uh, will have this who like a uh, or like and then like a uh, sunny or American destination. The uh, although uh, it shouldn't be though. Um. Because uh, the you know the testing rule has uh, 
So anyone who like uh, comes from another uh, country or like has uh, been uh, forced to like order to take uh, like a uh, corn coronavirus uh, test uh, three days before prior, and then uh, if the results have to be like you know negative. In order to go, if it is positive, they cannot go. And of course, if you they're they're return, someone's returning, uh, and uh, staying at so uh, you know, there's that rules where like uh, they're making air travel and anyone who like using plane coming back from planes or like using planes to visit Canada, they have to only uh yeah. Go to airports and then they have to, uh, you know, get a coronavirus tested and also stay at these designated hotels. Oh yeah, I haven't, I haven't forgot about those. So and then until the test results come out and then if it is, if the results are like negative, they can quarantine for four, you know, two weeks. If uh, it is pot, if it is uh positive they will be put in like government facility somewhere so uh, to make sure they don't have uh, traces of the UK variant South African variant or Brazilian variant so yeah Although it is troubling that because 2.9 million people at minus truck drivers uh, came uh, through uh, like a land border crossing, it, it's border crossing, it, while uh, 2.4 million people arrived by airplane. So yeah, that's troubling. So Trudeau, Justin Trudeau has said uh, so, so people can go back and forth if they are essential workers like, you know, like truck drivers and nurses and, uh, you know, anyone who like, you know, and those who don't fit the criteria will uh, have to, you know, get tested. So uh, that means that uh, these people, uh, if they come back from the like, USA or like, and uh, if they get tested, you know, negative, okay, just quarantine. If they get tested positive, straight to the government facility to make sure that they don't have a, uh, because uh, I know like uh, there have been uh, traces of a uh, case and uh, of uh, the variant, three variants. across the USA and uh, the first uh, one to hit the uh, variant to hit the USA uh, well the second one was uh, it was the South A South African variant in South Carolina and with uh, the main one being the trouble of some one being a, uh, you know, contagious one being a, uh, the UK variant, the deadliest and the most contagious. So. So if people are like coming across the border, so Joe Biden's not doing anything about it, but Canada's doing something about it. So they better get, people better get vaccinated before like, and uh, their results better be negative instead of positive.
that means that if they are if they're like tested positive straight to the government facility so this rule starts uh tuesday